Hello and welcome to my how to record high quality Visual Boy Advanced gameplay tutorial. I'm making this video because I was having a lot of trouble coming up with a way to record both video and audio from VBA at the same time without having any drawbacks such as low picture quality, audio synchronization issues, etc. After messing with a thing here and a few things there, I finally managed to push out an effective way to record the whole package without any audio or video hiccups. For this demonstration, we'll be recording a short clip of Pokemon Emerald version, but you can obviously use whichever ROM you have available. Load VBA, then open your ROM. I'll be starting at the File Select screen since this is a good place to be able to compare audio and video synchronization. From there, click Tools, Record. This is where we're going to stray from the norm. Most other tutorials will tell you to choose the Start AVI Recording option, but there are a couple of issues with doing that. Firstly, not everybody is going to get the same results since you're required to choose some codec already installed on your computer, and not everybody has the same codecs. Secondly, in my experience, AVI recording will always present either a video audio sync error, poor video quality, or both. Obviously, we want our recordings to be perfect in both categories, so this isn't going to work for us. The Start Movie Recording option isn't going to work either since VBA movies are literally useless. No external editing program recognizes the file format. Instead, we're going to be choosing the Start Sound Recording option. Save it as a .wav file. This will record the game's sound whenever the emulator is running. Now that we have the sound taken care of, we need to record the visuals. To do this, you need a screen recording program that is able to disable sound capturing. I personally use Camtasia Studio 8.3, but any screen capturing software should work. Start the video recording with audio capturing disabled. From that point, just play your game up until you want to quit recording. Just keep one thing in mind while you play. Do not use the frame skip function while recording. By frame skip function, I mean pressing the spacebar to simulate super speed. This will destroy your recording. The reason for this is because when you play on super speed, VBA will record the sound of the game as if super speed wasn't being used. This means that your video recording would show the game being played in super speed, but the audio would quickly fall behind since it's not being recorded with regards to frame skips. I've played through the intro segment of Pokemon Emerald and I'm ready to stop. To quit recording sound, click Tools, Record, Stop Sound Recording. Also remember to quit the video recording. We now have both an audio file and a video file to work with. Open both in your editor of choice. The first thing you should notice is that the two files are not the same duration. This is because we didn't start both recordings at the same time, therefore we're going to have to do some very quick trimming. The point selected in the timeline is exactly one frame before I click the New Game button. When the New Game button is clicked, a small sound effect occurs. We can use this indication to perfectly line up the video and the audio. As you can see, I've pushed the audio track to the right to align with the video track. Everything will be in sync from here on out. After aligning, delete whatever misaligned stuff is still there. You may have some extra bit of silence at the end of your audio track, so go ahead and remove that as well. That's it. Let's check out the result. You can tell by now that we achieved what we wanted to achieve. We have a high quality video with perfectly synced visuals and audio. The most important part of this process is to find a sound effect that plays in your game at a specific moment, then align it with the video track. It's pretty easy to do, and once it's done, everything will be synced from there on, so you don't have to mess with anything else. That's everything I plan to discuss in this tutorial. Hopefully you all learned something valuable from this, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask right here in my video's comment section. Thank you so much for being my audience.